Hey there, thanks for watching, thanks for clicking this video. This is an accompaniment video to the three day canoe camping trip I did at Charleston Lake that I just got back on. It is a four part series. Two parts are uploaded right now, the two others will be uploaded later this week. Alright, this is a video about the gear that I brought, some of it that excelled and some of it that really didn't work at all. So, let's do this. Alright, so one of the first pieces of gear I have that kind of failed on me is my Adventure 4th sleeping pad. Now I've had this for a really long time. We're talking like three plus years. Uh, it, the material is super thin. It's actually kind of surprising it lasts as long as it did. But it did deflate on me. The last night we were there, about 3 a.m. I woke up laying flat on the ground. I did refill it and then at 6 a.m. when I woke up it was flat again. So yeah, it, it's toast. Uh, it, it was a good piece of gear while I had it, but it's definitely time for a upgrade replacement. So, Adventure 4 sleeping pad, did good for three years, uh, you failed on me when I needed you, but it was kind of to be expected. Okay, next up, uh, the Wicked Tree Gear handsaw, um, foldable handsaw. This didn't do terrible. Um, it, it worked, but I think what we were doing with it was a little bit past what its specific design is for. Um, it did cut wood, it didn't do great. It did bind up a lot. Um, the material is actually, like the, the blade's actually super good. Um, it didn't bind up that bad. A couple times it did. It just seemed like it took a long time to get through the wood. I don't know if it's dull or if it's just not that great of a uh, saw blade. So, so you can see that alright. The blade's on there. So it's not terrible, it's just, I probably should just spend the money and get a silky gone boy um, and not spend five dollars on things like this. But this worked, just not great. Alright, okay, next up is my backpack. So, this is a, uh, I think it's pronounced Kane backpack. It's a 25 liter backpack. It did well. It has done well. I've had it for years. I've been using it for a long time. However, I think it's time for an upgrade. And I am sweating in my eyeball and it hurts. It's like 92 degrees outside right now. I'm sitting directly in the sun. So, the Kenne backpack, it's a great backpack. For a single night, it's a good backpack. I think anything more than a single night, it's, I gotta get an upgrade. Alright, next up is the Hike and Bike Zion One Person Tent. Holy crap, this did well. Uh, the first night it dumped rain. I had the vestibule open like this. I stayed dry all night long. So, all this was open and it still kept me good and covered. This did really freaking well. The second night I woke up and the morning dew had settled really heavy. Like, this whole thing was completely soaked. I was totally dry inside. Um, Good ventilation, it had great ventilation, kept me dry, even though the, the morning dew was really heavy. This is a great tip. Now, however, the stuff sack, it is the worst possible thing imaginable. The first morning, it took me about half an hour to get this thing packed up into that stupid stuff sack because everything was so wet. The stuff sack sucks, tins good. Unless the second morning, I actually gave up and just started shoving it in my backpack. Uh, after about 20 minutes, I, I just wasn't in the mood to do it. Anymore. But the tent itself is really great. I have to get a new stuff sack. That stuff sack is unacceptable. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's get a new stuff sack. All right. Next up, my canoe, the Old Town Discovery 11.9 canoe worked out phenomenally as I expected it would. The East Point Stadium seat that I have on here, so that seat was super cheap. But I was on this thing for about three hours in a row. Not one single problem. It was great. I love my canoe. And by the way, if you're curious at all, it is 32 inches wide. And obviously 11.9 feet in diameter. So, Alright, last up is my brand new Ketadyne B-Free water filter. This is a 1 liter. I think they go up to 3 liters. Holy crap, I do not have enough nice things to say about this. I didn't bring a water bottle with me, I just brought this and it worked out so well. It fills up super easy, it holds some water, there was no leaks at all, it was great. So, Canadine, be free, water filter, they are expensive, about $45, it's 
for what it is, but it's well worth it. Scott, uh, Jim Scott, the guy I was camping with, he had multiple problems. Or it took him quite a long time to fill his water bottle up, whereas mine didn't. Check out this quick video of him filling his up compared to me filling mine up. Mine was super easy. So I guess that's the bonus with that price. Okay, hey, thank you for watching. Hey, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I will see you again on another adventure soon.